let's talk about the Ukrainian plane crash, okay, and related to the three days of darkness. Okay, this is for those of you who have been following the story, because this is a global there's a, there's a global eye on this story. This is not something that anyone who has access to television or the internet is aware of what has been going on. There's like I know that it's impacted Canada a lot because I think 63 people from Canada were 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 uh, taken out or killed in this plane crash. But overall, this has touched everybody. Okay, people are watching the news. They're seeing the images that the media is putting out there. I can touch on that again another time, but I really want to want to touch on the specific piece about the three days of darkness. There's so much about this that's that's creepy. But anyway, though, when this happened, I'm just gonna kind of go through the sequence of events. When this happened, there was a news. Um, there was a uh, news. Emer- I guess a you want to call it an emergency, you know, an alert or a uh, significant news broadcast that a plane had been shot, I mean, had had um, crashed, and, uh, and then there was images of the crash, blah, blah, blah. So right away, people are feeling like, oh, my gosh, what happened? They were saying a te- technical error was human error. And so people had a chance to absorb this and feel that feeling of like, wow, that's terrible. And based on like... You know, based on all that's been going on in the globe, like one more other thing to think about. And then once people absorb that, among other stuff that's been going on, I'll touch on another time. Then it was announced that it was not, it was not, it may not have been a technical error, but a missile. Two missiles were thought to have hit the plane. And that's how it happened. And it was from Iran. I don't know how they figure these kind of things out. I don't know how they claim they figure this stuff out. But this is what they're they're saying. Okay, so... If a plane is hit by accident... Because this is what this, the Prime Minister of this country, of Canada is saying that they're going to do an investigation about whether or not it was an accident and was it was an error. If you're detonating a missile, don't you know that you, you know, it's almost like saying that I threw out garbage and I didn't know I threw out garbage. I, I, I shot a basketball and I didn't know I shot. Like if you, if you go through the process of, of, of releasing or, Releasing a missile, don't you know that you have? I'm just thinking, right? Two, once that error error happens, don't you warn people that it's happened? And the reason why that's significant is because, as I mentioned in the Three Days of Darkness video, the weapons that we they have now, you can't know that they've been detonated until they've hit the target. This is very different than what we've we're used to because when I was a child and I was in probably grade two or it was young, very young. And that's many, many, many years ago. They used to be able to tell when something was happening and when a missile was in the air, they could actually track it and monitor it and kind of tell you how much time people had to prepare. So people had underground, a lot of people had underground, bar, underground bunkers at this time and they could get their children, their family together and go to their underground bunkers, the bunkers that were prepared. They had food stash and all that kind of stuff because they had learned from the Hiroshima nuclear nuclear bombing that happened between the U.S. And, and Japan. So, I don't know anyone who is underground bunkers now. And the significant thing about this now is that if they anyone had an underground bunker, would they have? They wouldn't have time to prepare. People will be caught off guard if and when there is a war. Okay, this is significant because the Bible talks about it being um, a flash, a, like a flash, being one minute one way and another minute the other way. That's what the Bible describes it as. There are also a few other things that have been 
talked the people have been talking about that could ignite the um this three days of darkness and um I won't go into that because I don't I don't know much about that, but I know that there has there's been a lot of talk by people who are reputable scientists is talking about meteors that are that are coming towards the earth. This is something you can also Google as well. This is not a secret. The only reason why it sounds unusual is because like I said, everyone's relying on the media to share what's important. Whatever does happen is going to be sudden. Okay, it's going to be sudden. This Ukrainian plane shooting or accident or bombing or whatever should sh should shape to let you know this. This is whatever happens. It's just there's not going to be any time to prepare. Whatever it is, is not going to be time to prepare. And so and. There's going to be more than one thing happening. There's going to be a sequence of things happening. And if you're someone who digs like I do, dig for news, you're going to know that right now on the globe, there's a ton of things happening. The point of this is is that whatever happens all these warnings and things that are happening on the globe indicate that whatever happens is going to be a sudden thing people are not going to have a chance to prepare and the days of people having an underground bunker with storage is over people are into fast food fast everything people if they're hungry they run out to the store and they grab a bite to eat people don't usually the days of people storing rice, flour, the bare necessities, unfortunately, most people don't do that anymore. There's some people that still do, but these are usually people who are older, who have lived through a time where there was lack. All right, so I'm just letting you know this, that um, this plane, plane crash is hugely significant for many, many reasons. And no matter what we think about the conspiracy aspects of it, because there are some things I could share about that. What they are telling you, you should need to listen to it. If a plane gets hit by a, a, a weapon, you're not going to know until the damage is done. Okay? And with Hiroshima, people are still dealing with the consequences of the nuclear um, attack on Hiroshima, Japan, years ago. Okay? Things are much more advanced now. All right, I hope that was helpful so much to think about just remember to stay in prayer our heavenly father never has never left you he's never forsaken you he's always been here what you're experiencing whatever you're experiencing what we're experiencing is go up he's allowing this this is something that's been preordained it's in the word and he also said that he's going to protect those who are of him okay this is just like with moses he will protect people who are for him that that will willing to serve him worship him all right so warfare has been pretty interesting lately so i know the time is getting close anyway remember you're made marvelously i love you. your heavenly father loves you so much more until next time be blessed comments in the comment section i welcome them be constructive um i don't have any scripture i could add scripture that describes the the signs to look for. I've done this before. Let me just add it into the description box section. Okay. All right. Until next time, be blessed. Mm -hmm.